Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Music with Todd Ledbetter, thanks for joining me. Super stoked. Hey, we're back with some more Fate's Warning. And uh, we're gonna do a recommended song. Um, there's quite a few recommendations. Um, you know, for for a, a, a band that hasn't really got a lot of views on my channel, uh, the those of you that checked it out are obviously fans and you know their music. And almost everybody's got a song they want, they think this is great and that I should check out. So uh, that's super cool. That That's what inspires me. It's not about the views, uh, but it's about the music. And um, you guys are stoked on these guys. Some of you guys are. And uh, and when you, when you comment in the comment section and you tell me about their music and about their history and about their members and how great some of these guys are uh, and and how great the band is of course they've been together for so long since the 80s early 80s i believe um just really gets lights my fire you know and wants me uh, it makes me want to hear more uh so we're at the theory of flight album which was 2016 um it's eight songs uh it's got a couple 10 minute songs on it so that kind of bumps it up to about 52 minutes for eight with eight songs but we're going to check out uh there was a couple a couple of recommendations, but I'm gonna there was a 20 something minute song. Um, but I think I'm gonna save that for another time. We're gonna do a, the light and shades of things. Um, that's 10 minutes and 14 seconds. And um, super excited to hear uh, what this song has in store for us. So let's go ahead and uh, get on into it and uh, see what's going on. Oh, by the way, we're gonna do another one from the uh, Theories of Flight album, okay? It's the light. It's the live version. This is called the Light and Shade of Things. Because I want to see him. I want to see him play. Look at that guitar. It's beautiful. Is that like a seven-string guitar? Guitar players are so good. Their tones are so awesome. Their effects sound so good. You confess a lot of things, but you confess alone. The absence of a person brings the burning question home.
slide guitar. Some roads are empty. Some roads just go on. And oh, you may walk alone, my friend. I know it won't be long. Program. Man, that sounded good for live, didn't it? it? Sounded really good for live. Where was that, anyways? Okay, live over Europe, uh, June 29th, 2018. Um, the official video taken from. Okay, so that's the name of the album it was taken from, but um, don't know where this concert was. Bummer. Oh, but that was really, really good. So that was 2018, the concert. And I think they recorded it um, 2016, if I remember correctly. So very cool. That sounded great live. Boy, what what an amazing sound for um, in a room like that. Would is so fun to be in a concert where it's, uh, you know, everybody's got a good view and everybody can hear it, you know, and you're not like way up in some nosebleed seats. I love venues like that. That's my favorite for like, you know, bigger professional bands. And uh, of course, you know, local bands play in smaller places, but I like that too. <laughs> um, I'm not really big on going to like the big, huge stadiums, you know, and, and just being so far away, I, I'm not even involved, you know. I, uh, you know, it's all about me and I have to be involved in the music, you know, even though they did everything. I still need to take credit by seeing them up close. <laughs> no, that's silly. Uh, but yeah, I do like to be up close, you know, and, and uh, those kind of rooms are perfect for that. But great guitar tones, good, just so, so good, both of them. And uh, the way that they control their um, guitar effects, you know, and the way they play it, it's, I mean, some of that stuff was so time sensitive you know it's, and especially when you've got like uh delays going on your guitar and stuff like that it's amazing i noticed that the drummer uh was really pretty much the timekeeper obviously in that whole scene but he really directed it with his hi-hat you know he did a lot of tss, tss, as you know to as things came in and and transitions were happening but he really 
he's the one that was kind of keeping that timing going with that hi-hat a lot in that song, uh, which probably is necessary. I mean, it's just part of the song. It's not like he's, you know, doing something that doesn't fit the song or anything like that. It's just that without that, man, it's so, there was so much air and so much space sometimes in, in some of those slow parts that you could really just, you know, be a fraction of a second off, you know, when, when you're trying to sync with everybody else. But, uh, Singer was great. I really liked his voice. I'm glad he hit those high notes at the end. I was just really, really just waiting for those, you know, waiting for those. They weren't super high, but he he hit the notes I wanted him to hit, you know, at, towards the end there. And uh, that really gave me a, a great deal of satisfaction, uh, you know, kind of just he finished it off because I was kind of yearning for that during that song because he has a he has a great voice, but you know he's not moving oops he's not moving around much too much you know he's within his range you know and then boom he hit that yeah and uh it just felt good just felt good uh so yeah that was cool super cool um bass player was rocking he was into it you know i was watching him you know he was just so into the music just rocking i loved it man he was right up front too he was right at the front of the stage he wasn't hanging out back with the drummer he was right on top of it that was so cool that's the way i like to play i always i always i always set my i, I, I set my microphone right up front and i a lot of times i'm playing with guys that sing and, and they're like lead singers like real good singers so i'll have a couple of songs that i'll sing and then i'll do backups and things like that but i always just stand right up front <laughs> I don't know what that is with me. Anyways, that was great. Super fun, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and checking out some cool music, and thanks for the recommendation. It was totally, totally worth it. It was a great song. Fate's Warning sounds really good, and I was just kind of really itching to see him live, and, and uh, that was a really nice video. Well done. The whole thing, the audio and the... Um, the video was just really, really good and a pleasure to watch and to listen to. So super satisfying. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and all that stuff, you know, and check me out over on Ko-Fi if you want to recommend a song over there and Patreon uh, if you want to uh, help out. Those two places are great to do that. Help out with the channel. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, there's a few other suggestions. You guys, uh, those of you that like this uh, Fate's Warning, uh, have had um, made a lot of comments with uh, different songs you like so that's really cool but if there's anything else and you know point me in the direction you think I should go where you think I might like and you know maybe you know different uh, different things about this band you know um, I keep saying you know a lot you know I've noticed that when I listen back to my videos to make sure they're good I'm saying you know all the time that's the one little vocal I don't go, um, or I don't go, or something weird. I just go, you know, all the time. I got to stop saying, you know, because I know, you know, but I don't know. And I'm just trying to think off the top of my head and I'm saying stuff. And then I say, you know, sorry, you know, anyways, great stuff. I loved it. Thank you guys. Uh, appreciate all the recommendations. You guys like this band. So, uh, it shows in the comments. That's the one I'm trying to say, I, I think. Yes, definitely. It shows in the comments. So more recommendations are always uh, appreciated. I love it because uh, it just inspires me to check out bands uh, I've never heard before or I'm brand new to now on this channel. And I don't know where to go. You know, I could start at the top of the album and go all the way down. But it's like to it, it's nice to uh, know what you guys think. So we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll uh, see you down in the comments, I guess, right? All right, you guys have a great day. Take care now.